Hi, this is Kevin Van Hook, co-creator of Bloodshot, and you're watching Lords of the Long Box. Keep digging in those long boxes. Shake and bake and pull it back. What is going on, you Tubanites? This is your man, Tivo. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box. This is the Spider-Man Multiverse Scoop Part 4. This is the Mikey Sutton exclusive. Thank you to Strip Marvel, Pete's Basement, Three Buck Theater for the first three parts of this Mikey Sutton exclusive YouTube crossover event. Uh, let's kick it right off, boys and girls. I'm running Part 4, so make sure you check out the previous part three parts. If you speak Spanish, check out Strip Marvel. Pete's Basement's going to have part one and two uh, translated as well. And then Three Buck Theater is going to have part three. Your man TiVo's got part four for you, and let's kick it off. Marvel TV shows have referenced their cinematic counterparts without completely participating in them. Well, that's about to change. My colleague, the Black Knight and I, and that's Mikey Sutton, joined together in reports for the Lords of the Long Box during the summer about how the TV programs would be involved in secret wars. That's right, boys and girls. We first dropped this about... I want to say four or five months ago, it was on a Three Men in the Basement channel, and then I went on a Gem Mint collectible show, and then it blew up on Reddit, and that's when it really kind of caught fire. Uh, Mikey Sutton is saying, I'm hearing that Among the Battle Worlds will essentially be hell on Earth with Mephisto unleashing the Marvel zombies on the spirits of vengeance. This will be for Hulu, dark and R-rated. If you've been watching the Lord show, we've been talking about a long time now. We Marvel Zombies when I was on our long-term spec list. Spirits of Vengeance was on our long-term spec list. We just specced Mephisto on last Wednesday's show. So pay attention. It's all coming together. This is all completely early in the process. And nobody knows how much of this will remain intact, but they're the bones of which the meat will be harvested. Ooh, I like that. Galactus and Doctor Doom will be in the center of it all with other villains like the Mandarin and the Red Skull on the side. This is an ambitious epic with so many moving pieces. So basically what we've said is in the past that they're not going to be doing a direct adaptation of Secret Wars, the original one. This is more of the Jonathan Hickman run from 2015, hence the word Battle Worlds. If you remember that, basically Doctor Doom played a big part in that as well as Doctor Strange. And if you remember now that they're bringing on the Mandarin, what I was hearing on our initial reports of this was that Doctor Doom would rule Europe. The Mandarin would rule Asia and the Red Skull would rule the U.S. Uh, and basically it's going to be built off of that. If you think about Doctor Strange and into the multiverse of madness and how these different worlds are going to come together, that's where they're going. This is huge. This is ambitious. Obviously, things are subject to change, but this is the roadmap they have so far. So the specs on these are really just all over the place. You're talking about a planet of symbiotes. We're talking about the Marvel zombies. We're talking about Mephisto, all the supernatural heroes. This is going to be huge, guys. And now that Kevin Feige is basically the one to rule them all, I think they can make this happen. So uh, in the comments below, tell us what you think about this. And please make sure you check out Strip Marvel Part 1. If you don't understand Spanish, check out Peach Basement, who's going to have it in, in the English version of Part 1 as well as Part 2. And then check out our friends at Three Buck Theater, who again, Part 3, mine, I'm bad and clean up. And so I'm dropping part four. You put it all together. You got to have some great stuff. I don't want to spoil the other parts for you. So make sure you go check out their channel, sub them up and watch the content. It's going to blow your mind. And hopefully as we get more and more details as it goes on every Wednesday, we'll bring it to you live on Lords of the Long Box. So as always, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes.